Welcome back everybody, I'm here with another video on the voice meter series. This video is about latency and understanding what latency is in audio. So this is a series on voice meter and I demonstrated with voice meter banana and I explained a little bit of voice meter and voice meter potato. So definitely go back to the previous videos because those videos are more basic and some high level videos on top of that. And to just understand all the other parts of what audio is, um, specifically we'll be on voice meter banana and showing what latency is. So Pretty much, um, it will be different types of series that will be going throughout this YouTube. So definitely make sure you guys are on top of all the notifications and a part of the uh, Gamers Guild as well, because a official uh, CYBE um, Discord will be uh, painted out pretty soon. We're just waiting for more stuff to come through and for me just to make more stuff and um, for you guys' feedback so I know what is going on. Uh, but primarily, we'll be going over latency and the understandings of it. So definitely stay tuned, notifications on, and we'll get right into it. The primary what latency is, it's the idea of your input going to your processing and coming back out to another uh, virtual or physical type of um, device, right? So you could be saying something right here and then there's always a point of latency of where it's going to. So I'm talking to my mic, my hardware input, and it's going to my uh, virtual input, which is my VAIO, and it's outputting to my OBS. So that's pretty much where how the latency is built upon is the uh, between time of your buffer going to your stream. That's, that's exactly what the uh, the latency is. So those are the ideas of it. And then uh, to add on to what latency um, is as well, um, it's also the amount of time. Um, so it's not too many variables, is the uh, the buffer size and your hardware is also time between. The time between to take uh, your audio or your or your MIDI. So I was saying um, MIDI is the same exact thing as, as MIDI. Uh, your MIDI single to be sent into your interface or your computer. So the same thing I just said, but in different words, just so you guys can understand. what. Um, some of these cases are these are the interfaces that um, I was just saying about and I did a whole video on the interfaces for voice meter uh, in general so voice meter banana so definitely check those uh, check out those videos as well because um, I go in depth on each and every interface uh, so your um, MME your WDM your KS your I went a little bit into wave RT and the um, direct X and the um, ASIO these hold their own latency times and each each of these will have a different type of time so the latency time for the MME is around 100 um, ms which is one second and then um, around uh, 30 seconds or lower uh, will really just lower than 30 seconds uh, 30 um, ms for WDM and then the KS um, usually has a, a low latency right here and then uh, the Wave RT and the Direct X, these have latencies of uh, of small of small latencies. And then your ASIO is usually uh, is usually around a low latency um, around there. So, uh, I'll, and also I had this uh, document down in the description of another video. I'll have it down in the description of this video as well. So let me just go through this a little bit. So yeah, the V band also has um, latency. Uh, configurations as well so then uh, one part I want to get into is how latency uh, can change uh, it could change depend on your CPU and how fast or strong your CPU is so when I say strong CPU is how many cores you have and how fast it is is how many um, in your logical processors it's really um, how those um, correlate what? and, and uh, work in unison what the how fuck? strong and fast your CPU is so it really depends on your computer and the latency uh, does change based on each and every computer you may be using so if you're using dual computers or tri computers and you're having to communicate between um, that that land that that local environment um, it will take a bigger latency because you're adding in more components and more gadgets to your whole office to say, or your whole room or your whole studio that you may have. It's basically how um, the amount of things you're adding will increase the number. So then to change and lower your, your buffer, uh, let's go to voice meter. 
um, to really change it, I particularly sometimes uh, look at my system settings. And when I look at my system settings, I'm able to change um, how my MME, my WDM, my KS, and my ASIO is. So you get a warning here. You get a warning, pretty much saying that like um, it's uh, configured properly. And if you were to change it, change it back to default. That's basically what it's saying. If you face any problems. So the lower the number, the better. So the less samples um, it is, the better uh, between any of your audio interfaces. So let's keep that in mind that um, each and every audio interface is gonna have its own presets, right? So this one's 1,024 for MME. The WDM is 512, the KS is 512, so on and so forth. So I just keep it at the, the lowest um, that it should be, or I'll make it lower depending on my computer. So then back to the documentation, I'll go to where it gives you some tips and some outline on getting optimal latency. Uh, based on your voice meter and your computer. So I'll just read through this. The uh, the choice of the output uh, A1 is critical to get the best global latency since it gives the master sample rate and uh, main buffer size. So those are two very important uh, points right there. Is your sample rate and your buffer size that uh, come into the inclusion. So we recommend that uh, to select your best audio device as output A1, uh, prefer ASIO. Uh, if possible, WDM or KS. So those are some of the presets I have. Back over here, I have my WDM. WDM is usually that I have one MME, that's for my voice mod, and then I use WDM here. I don't really use the uh, kernel streaming, which is the uh, KS. Back over here, the A1, and then yeah, so your buffer size is given by the ASIO driver itself, and then uh, can usually be set by the ASIO specific control panel of your audio board. But it's possible to uh, specify a prefer ASIO buffer size uh, use if the driver accepts it so uh, it depends on how your drivers are configured so um, definitely look into updating your drivers if needed so to improve latency you can also decrease the latency buffer size as we was talking about uh, right before a few minutes ago for example down to 256 especially with WDM and KS devices if using WDM devices you can again reduce global latency um, the time between microphone and speaker by using swift mode, but not recommended because it might be unstable. So if you have um, uh, crackling and uh, chipping inside of your audio, just uh, increase your, your sample rate. And then usually you want to be able to see how each and every component is. So update your drivers, your um, buffer rate, uh, depending on the application that the driver gives you when you update it or um, what it comes with and then looking at voice meter and comparing uh, both of everything your uh, separate application for your um, microphone and then the voice meter so then also um, the virtual io latency can also be optimized by decreasing the internal latency of the voice mirror vio driver by using specific vb cable control panel program however decreasing internal latency can reduce discontinued or non-working stream in some cases pending on different buffering uh, constraints cvb uh, cable technical documentation so uh but yeah just is like thoroughly understanding and uh putting everything together will uh, eventually work inside your uh, voice reader and then also um you want to go with like the lowest you can my point is already you want to go with the lowest you can with uh, each and every part and um these samples don't have to match, but it depends on each and every individual device. So if your latency is so broad and big, definitely look at your buffer size and your sample rate. Uh, virtual ASIO driver are adding a single buffer to the global latency. The size of this buffer is given by the buffering of the output A1. So a little latency warning right here, changing default latency by reducing buffer size can decay the audio stream, bring a stability and frequent audio cut, stagnant, and um, synchro lost robotic voice. So uh, if you get such problem, come back to the default buffer. Pretty much what it was saying right here, if you go back to the uh, settings, is like if it messes up and it warns you every single time, if it messes up and then there's crazy crackling, just go back to the default. So yeah, that's really it. That's how audio works. That's the explanation of it, how it intertwines with different applications and how you can change it through your uh, system settings. If um, you think there's another way, definitely let me know uh, down in the comments. 
and uh, I can definitely get to it. Like you can right click on here. I gotta just escape. And oh, I just had it. Yeah, so you can select, and it gives you the recommended amount of samples you want to use. So yeah, a lot of good features um, on there. And then I'll just right click in right there. A lot, a lot of good features right there. And um, and yeah, that's really it. Uh, so there's more stuff coming through on the series. We have a few videos left. This is video number 11 and we'll be going into a few more videos before we start doing the uh, community suggested videos and fixes and add-ons. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, we'll be going over some key, key stuff, some detail stuff. We, we already went over detail stuff. This is one of them. We went over the uh, remote API latency and we're just getting bigger and bigger and uh, tougher and more technical in this series. So a few more and then we'll possibly be more technical with uh, other types of questions and suggestions you guys may have. So thank you for watching. Thank you guys for coming through and uh, definitely have your notifications on because uh, we're really, really close to that 1000. Uh, depending on the time of this, this video, man, I've been crushing it and uh, recording a lot of content for you guys because I'm recording other content for, um, for, for this channel and then a few other channels. So definitely stay tuned, uh, keep kicking, keep learning. Thank you for watching and peace out.